So, it looks like the Baltimore Ravens got their first big injury scare of training camp. And I know that this is not news that you want to hear. I know it's not like, oh, great, we got our first injury scare. Of course not. No, nobody gets excited over that. Well, at least excited in a good way. But so you can stay up to date with whatever's going on with the Ravens, good or bad, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss not a single thing. Because I want y'all to stay up to date. Y'all help me keep up to date, uh, and I want to help y'all keep up to date as well. Anyway, uh, let's just go straight to the report. It says, came from our guy Jeff Srebik. Shout out to him, by the way. He said, Ravens cornerback Rocky seen left practice about 45 minutes in after he appeared to sustain a leg injury while matching up with Shamar Bridges in one-on-ones, and he seen limp to the training room. But then he followed that up and said, Harbaugh said, initial indication is Yassine's injury isn't serious, but team still evaluating. So, I know what you're going to say. I know what you're thinking. I know what you've probably already said out loud to yourself at home, wherever you're watching this or wherever you are. Harbaugh said it isn't serious. Oh, so it's probably serious then. But wait, but wait. Harbaugh's been better. He's been better when it came, comes to talking about injuries and when it comes to uh, being very specific about injuries. Whenever he gives a, a, a more detailed, and I know for, for saying something that Harbaugh says is detailed, it, it can still be very vague. But if Harbaugh gives any details, then that we're going to take what we can get because he don't really be giving anything much these days. But when he does, it's usually on point. If I take you back to last year, Tyler Linderbaum. Harbaugh said that he was going to be out a couple of weeks during, was it preseason or training camp? I forget which one it was. He said he, said he was going to be out a couple of weeks, and he was out for, I believe, two weeks, and then he came back. Harbaugh was spot on. He was spot on. Um, with Marcus Williams, when he got injured, Harbaugh said that he was going to be out for a while. He got put on injury reserve, and he was out for a while. But Harbaugh also said, oh, he'll probably come back. And when he said that, I was thinking, hmm, okay, all right, Hub, come, like, come on now. He ain't coming back. But he came back. So, again, Harbaugh's been more spot on with the whole injury talk recently. So, if he's saying indications are saying it's not serious, I'll, I'll take it for what it is right now. I, I'll take that, and I'm going to hope that Harbaugh is on point and hope that he's right. So, we'll just have to wait and see. But it is something that's scary to think about. Especially when you think about, um, like, I was just talking to my guy a couple hours ago when the news first broke. My guy, he actually had told me about it. My guy, Meech. And he brought up a good point. They're like, man, like, Ravens are pretty thin at the cornerback. Oh, you know what? They're not even thin at the cornerback position, but they're just very, it's a lot of unknown there. After Marlon Humphrey and even Rocky Hussein is a bit unknown, too, in some ways. But after those two guys, it's like, who's it going to be? Who's going to step up? Who's going to be that next guy? Who, who, who is going to really hold it down for the cornerbacks? And as Ravens fans, we all know every single year, their secondary depth gets tested. It never fails. Never, 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 never fails. Um, so this year, I mean, again, hopefully it's nothing crazy. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. But we just, we don't know yet. So just got to wait it out. Got to wait it out. But Ravens... They do have a lot of depth at corner as far as bodies. They got a lot of people there, a whole lot of people. But we just don't know about the quality of a lot of those guys yet. Not saying they can't be quality corners because, I mean, they're all in the NFL, so they're there for a reason. But we don't know how they will be on the field yet for the Baltimore Ravens, uh, if and when that time comes for them. Uh, so hopefully your scene is, maybe. hey, that'd be great. He'd come back tomorrow. It'd be amazing if he came back tomorrow, but we'll see when we see. I think that we'll find out something. Uh, obviously, latest will be by tomorrow, uh, but they could even find out something today uh, once he gets examined and whatnot. But somebody else who um, he may need to be examined soon for a little checkup, maybe 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 physical time. So hey, who knows? Is is J.K. Dobbins? And with J.K. Dobbins, it's. Um, it's just been this whole roller coaster stuff. It's something new just about every day with J.K. Dobbins, and we're just wondering, like, when is it all going to come to an end? Positive end or negative end? Hopefully a positive end because we all want to see J.K. Dobbins on this football team contributing and just doing what we know he can and will do when he does get back on the field. But when will he be back on the field? 
Well, John Harbaugh gave us a little update on J.K. Dobbins, and Harbaugh said that last night uh, that he met with J.K. Dobbins. So I don't know whether they talked face to face, whether they went they went out to dinner or something, or they just did a FaceTime, or it was a phone call, whatever. Well, it don't matter. He said he met with J.K. Dobbins. If you meet with somebody, it sounds like that's in person, but that's beside the point. And he said that he's not sure when Dobbins will be will return to practice, but he's looking forward to it. So, um, <laughs> not really much there, but um, I mean, if if he's in constant communication with him, I mean, he's the head coach. I would expect him to be. Uh, but if he's in constant communication with him, that's a good thing. Uh, and again, hopefully, this thing can be resolved with both sides coming together and just. At least riding out this year Hopefully they, they could they could ride out this year together uh, Again, like I said With J.K. Ravens are uh, even better Than without J.K. of course Because he's super talented The man can play He can play um, But things are just a bit rocky right now Now from J.K.'s side Again, I've, I've expressed that I would love for the two sides to come together And I don't think there will be a contract agreement This year But I'm just hoping that both sides can they can work together this year, at least for this year. And then next year, we'll see what happens then. I ain't really expecting much then, but so much depends on so much. So much depends on how this season goes, how J.K. performs, um, his health, just everything. But I will say right now, it's not really looking uh, too bright at the end of the road for J.K. when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. But across that bridge when they get there. Uh, so with J.K., is again, same thing with Rocky Scene right now. Just a wait and see approach. That's all you can do. Just wait. Wait it out. Wait for Rocky Scene's injury status. Wait for JK's status with the, the team and whatnot. Of course, did the question from subscriber video earlier uh, where my guy Trey brought up the, the, the question or, well, maybe the Ravens could swoop in for Dalvin Cook and then ship off JK Dobbin somewhere else where he may be happier. Um, a lot of running backs going through a lot right now, man. You got Josh Jacobs. Away from the team right now You got Jonathan Taylor Beefing with his team right now Publicly beefing with his The owner of the team uh, Jim Ursay right now um, You had Saquon Barkley But Saquon Barkley said Hey y'all boys on y'all own man Giants they, they, they got me man So I, I'm straight uh, You got Of course you got J.K. Dobbins or whatnot. You had Austin Eckler Austin Eckler, he was he had a little thing with the Chargers for a little bit this offseason. That quieted down. I want to say they gave him some kind of they redid his contract, I think. But I always forget. Uh then you had Ezekiel Elliott. He got cut from the Cowboys, once one of the top running backs. You had Joe Mixon. He ended up taking a pay cut for this and next year. So it's it's rough in running back world right now. It's rough. And then of course, you got Dalvin Cook. He got cut. From his team After all these Back to back Thousand yard season All this production And what the Vikings said Bye The door You can go So it's, it's a nasty world Out there for running backs Right now It's a real nasty world So It's almost like I, I'm sure Joe Mixon's like Whew Hey I'll take the pay cut I ain't trying to be like These boys out there man So I'm sure he's satisfied With that I mean They 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 probably squeeze him dry, man, because he was in a tough position. What can you do? What we y'all cut y'all gonna cut me? Then he get he get out there with the rest of these free agent running backs. I mean, Joe makes it nice now. Don't get me wrong, he's nice. Um, so I'm sure he would get a job, but then at the same time, I'm sure Dalvin Cook would get a job and he's still out there. So it's nasty. So with Joe Mixon, I get I get why he took like the uh the, the pay cut just to stay. Because that's another thing too. You gotta that's another thing you gotta think about. With Joe Mixon, for instance. All right, Joe Mixon, we want you to take a pay cut. No. All right, we're going to cut you. Oh, man. Then he may not have enough. He, he may have some offers or whatnot, but they may not be from good teams. So he just be out there or go somewhere with a bad team and whatnot. Maybe he wants to get paid, which he has gotten paid already, but maybe he wants a chance to compete for a Super Bowl too. So if you feel like with Bengals, that gives him a real good opportunity. The Bengals have been doing a whole lot of winning over these past couple years. Two straight... AFC championships So that Maybe that's what he wants But um Yeah he's in a tough position Maybe if he would've got cut Maybe he would go to a team That he does not feel Could bring that Or could get there So Yeah man With J.K. Dobbins We're gonna see 
We're going to see. Get little small updates each and every day. And we're waiting for that big update that says J.K. Dobbins passed the physical, came off the PUP list, and is practicing with the team. We're waiting on that. So until then, I guess just like J.K. remains for now, we out. <laughs>